Welcome to my Applied Econometrics course. My name is Sabuj Kumar Mondal and I am a faculty here at the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences IIT Madras and I will take you through this course. This course is going to be a 12 weeks or 30 hours course and this is going to be my second course in econometrics. The first one was introductory econometrics. Some of you might have already attended that course and this applied econometrics is little advanced in a sense that some of the assumptions that we made in the earlier basic econometrics course to make the situation little simpler for the analysis. Here we are relaxing those assumptions and then we are making the course towards more application and real world oriented. The first module of this applied econometrics course starts with instrumental variable estimation. Why this module is required? If you recall, one of our assumptions in the introductory econometrics course was that all my explanatory variables are exogenous in nature. That means they do not have any correlation with the error term in the model. But what if some of my explanatory variables become endogenous? That means they show some kind of correlation with the error term. If that is the case, in presence of endogeneity, the standard method of estimation, what we learned that OLS estimation does not provide the efficient and consistent estimates of your equation. We need a specific technique to deal with that endogeneity and that is where instrumental variable estimation technique is required. Secondly, we have also assumed in our introductory econometrics course that in my econometric model, there was always a case that x as an independent variable will only cause y, but there is no case of reverse causality like y is also causing x. That means we have never analyzed any case of bidirectional causality. But what if my relationship shows the actually the causality runs from x to y as well as y to x. You can always think of the example of estimating the consumption function, same consumption function what we have discussed in our introductory econometrics course, what we assume that it was income that only causes consumption. But as you all know at least from the macroeconomic identity that income also causes consumption at the same time consumption also causes income to be determined. So that means income and consumption relationship is bidirectional causality does not run from x to y only rather there is a case of reverse causality. If there is a case of reverse causality then we need to estimate that situation using simultaneous equation model and that we are going to discuss in our second module. Thirdly, in our basic econometrics course we discussed a module of dummy variable wherein we assumed that some of my explanatory variables they become qualitative in nature. But what if you get a situation where even your dependent variable also becomes qualitative? If that is the case, if you have qualitative dependent variable or if you have limited information on your dependent variable, then we need to have qualitative response models to more to, to conceptualize that situation and estimate my coefficients. And we are going to discuss about logit, probit, tobit and then multinomial logit, all sorts of qualitative response model in, the mo in this third module of our course applied econometrics. Then lastly, we are going to discuss about panel data models. If you recall in the entire discussion on our basic econometrics course, we assumed that all my data are collected from the individuals in a given point of time. That means it is a data collect when the data is collected in a particular point of time that is called cross-sectional data. But if you have data collected from 
multiple individuals over a period of time, you can actually do miracle in econometrics. How this has happened? Suppose you have a situation wherein you have some variables, some explanatory variables in your model which are actually unobserved. And the nature of those unobserved factors are that they are individual specific but time constant. Then to accommodate that situation, when I have individual specific time constant factors which can also determine my dependent variable, but they are not easy to uh, handle, they are not easy to be incorporated in the model by collecting data, then panel data econometrics, they help us design that situation wherein we will model the context as unobserved individual specific time constant factors are also determinant of the determinant dependent variable, then we will make appropriate transformation to remove those factors and then ultimately come up with a transform model wherein we can estimate my parameters efficiently. And then these panel data models can be of two types, static panel data model where any changes in my explanatory variable, if, at, if, if, if any changes happens in my explanatory variable, then my explained or dependent variable will adjust itself instantaneously in the same period. But sometimes what happens, the changes made in explanatory variable will cause definitely a change in dependent variable, but the change or adjustment become partial. That means the dependent variable cannot adjust itself in the same period and it will lead to a situation wherein dynamism will be there in the system. And to handle the dynamism in economic relationship, we need to have a panel data which is dynamic in nature. So, in panel data context, we will be discussing both static and dynamic panel data models. And all these modules, we are going to discuss with real life data and I will also give you a demonstration using the statistical software's data. All these models, how to use uh, software to estimate uh, your economic and econometric relationship. The course is going to be very exciting and rewarding for you. And these are the important references that we are going to use. First one is Introductory Econometrics, a modern approach by Jeffrey Ulrich. Second one is Econometric Analysis of Panel Data by Baltagi. Third one would be Econometric Analysis of Cross Section and Panel Data by Jeffrey Ulrich. Fourth one is Mostly Harmless Econometrics by Angrist and Fishke. And last one would be Limited Dependent Variables and Qualitative Variables in Econometrics by G. S. Madala. So, in an era when we all are talking about big data, data analytics, this course is going to be really, really exciting and rewarding for you, be it in academia or in industry. Thank you. Happy learning of applied econometrics.